Hello everyone and welcome to game two of a match or part or part two game two of a matchup between why not and game for here on Metalopolis. This one zealot will get no, no this one marauder will get taken down fairly easily as the army just able to just um, deal so much damage. The stalker's not blinking to try to give Chase a little bit surprised by that. And as this one medevac may come back, we do see more marauders and marines once again on the move. One probe able to scout this out and also an SCB at this high yield or at that Zelnaga watchtower able to catch some of this. And now in come the stalkers. Stalkers able to deal damage and take down those medevacs before any of those marauders are in position. And now we see a couple high templars on the high ground here. As this fight continues, will any of the size storm come in? And very nicely done game for just taking so much damage off of those size storms. And now those hellions are trying to come in and deal more and more damage. Hellions going after some of those probes here. Some of those probes were taken down. A lot of those probes were taken down. However, the main army of game for now taking a lot of damage as well. Stalker is also warping in as well in order to try to fight back here. We do see one stalker that was taken down and this one hellion, if it's able to just stay here for quite some time, will be able to get a lot of probe kills. No, the probes coming off the mineral line. There it goes. It is now taken down as a fight over here ensues. We do see some um, do see some stalkers and that Archon now trying to come in. Star Archons and oh, the Archon trying to come in with that very, very nice splash damage and bonus to bio. And now another side storm coming in. All those Marines, Marauders, and Medivacs being forced to pull back once again. The stalkers now trying to engage. However, why not not why not just continuing to split up his forces? And it looks as though why not is now once again on the losing side of his army. We do see. Game for now macroing up a decent sized army once again, training up two ghosts, getting the level two weapons upgrade. However, if Why Not is able to use all of these high Templars very effectively, he will be able to combat this army. You do see that Gamefer has the larger mineral army, but Why Not has a stronger Psy Storm army. And there, there we go, getting a feedback onto that one ghost there. And that ghost now down to 12 hit points, unable to get off an EMP shockwave. And now more Psy Storms should be ensuing. Why Not has two observers in the same location. Not quite sure why, as now this one medevac most likely going to try to drop onto this high ground and try to take down this expansion over here we do see a 3750 mineral army for game for 3300 for why not and now this medevac over here will be able to drop down and deal a lot of damage towards this nexus and this one hellion will stop any of those additional zealots that try to come in but however a lot of units simply coming into play now and also two high templars so getting the feedback there and now in comes a side storm all those units just going to get taken down there one zealot down to 13 or sorry one marauder down to 13 hit points and being forced to pull back that medevac now essentially out of energy or just very little energy ghost now trying to move out and feedback onto all three ghosts beautifully done with that one observer size storm now coming in and all of those units once again taking so much damage i believe they are trying to use um trying to um, just attack normally and try to take down some of those archons or those high templars but now those high templars are now becoming archons and will be able to win in a 1v1 fight going after those um, Hellions once again. The Hellions taking some damage as they pull back. So those Hellions not moving, not all too effective any longer. So Hellions, Marines, and Marauders. We do see one Medivac full. Perhaps it will try to set up and deal more damage as, as an even larger and larger army coming in from Why Not. Why Not doing a great job of just constantly um, minimizing the amount of damage that Gamefer can do. So mass Marauders and Marines. We do see one Medivac now slowly making its way out across the field. One probe, however, will quickly see that this Medivac is in play. Down goes that probe. However, this fight over here is going to be a different story. We do see some high templars now coming in. EMP shockwave hitting all of those arc or all those high templars over here. However, the archons able to get in a lot of splash damage, and even it was four archons and that additional 35 damage versus biological. This will be a very very easy fight for why not to just simply attack move into this position here, and now de dealing so much damage against these marauders and marines. We do see another Hellion now taken down and now going after the Orbital Command. So not much can really happen. Gamefer is in a, in a serious bit of trouble as he's going to lose this particular expansion and then a lot of his production buildings as well. One Stalker on that high ground should probably blink back down. However, it does not look like it and there it goes. As this fight continues, more Stalker reinforcements coming in and now a group of Zealots dropping in onto this ground here. Now we see an upgrade to a Planetary Fortress and another Planetary Fortress over here. But Gamefer realizing that that is the end of it says GG. So game for losing game two in this matchup here on Metalopolis. Um, yeah, game for try to push out, use Ghost pretty effectively. However, uh, with so many observers well-placed throughout the map, those High Templars were able to get 
feedback and size storms before those EMP shockwaves ever came in. Thanks for watching. Thanks for listening. I hope you guys enjoyed this 1v1 replay between Why Not and Gamefer.